Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss about OOPS concept. What is this OOPS? What is the abbreviation behind that? Object Oriented Programming Language. Okay, so that is called OOPS concept actually. So in Java, it is supporting OOPS concept basically. So what is the use of this OOPS concept basically? So when you are developing some big projects, right? So with the help of this object oriented programming concept, you can achieve lot of stuffs. Maybe you can uh, reuse your code basically. That is the main purpose of that actually. Okay. So with the help of minimal code, you can achieve lot of things. You can instead of writing 10 lines with the five line itself, we can achieve lot of things. So that is the main purpose. They are introduced this concept actually. Okay. So it is having couple of concepts. So let's see in detail in future videos, but let's try to understand what are the concepts we are going to cover in this future tutorials. Okay. So the concepts we are going to cover class object inheritance again, inheritance can have a couple of types actually single multi-level and hierarchical polymorphism. It is having method overloading and method overriding. We can say as a compile time polymorphism or runtime polymorphism. Okay. Again, we are having abstraction. So abstraction we, we can achieve with the help of two ways. One is abstract class and interface. Again, we are having encapsulation. So these all are different, different concepts which we are going to learn in future tutorials. Okay. So before going to next video, you, you need to understand couple of keywords basically in OOPS concept actually. Okay. Let's see. And so in terms, terms in OOPS actually, I just saying as a terms in OOPS actually. So it, you can see here actually. So association, aggregation, composition, coupling and cohesion. These are different, different terms, which we will use in the OOPS actually. Okay. So what is this terms basically? So it is, it is nothing but actually when you are working with Java. So you know that Java is a object oriented programming language, right? So when you are working with Java, so again, when you are working with object basically, okay. So again, when you are working with multiple objects, okay. So maybe two objects, you need to come across this type of uh, terms basically. So if you see the association, so it can simply mean, I mentioned that independent life cycle, no ownership. It means that when you are working with two different objects. Okay. So the both having different, different life cycles and there will be no ownership basically will be there. Okay. So that is, so for example, you are going to, you are going into the college, right? So without you go into college also college is one object and person is one object. Okay. So if you are going to college or not, not going to, that is no issue, right? Your life will go on. College also will go on, right? You are, you are a, you are a object of college, but again, still you have your own life cycle. College have their own life cycle, right? So there is a no ownership basically, right? So that is called association. Okay. And what is aggregation? So independent life cycle. Okay. Both have in different life cycle, but there is a ownership in case of example, just take it as a mobile phone. Okay. So mobile phone having the battery, right? Correct. So battery, you can take the battery. You can put it in another mobile phone also, and you can use it out the same way mobile phone. You can use another battery and you can use it out. So both have a different life cycle, but to make use of the battery, definitely you need a mobile phone. So mobile phone is the owner of the battery. I mean, so the mo mobile phone is the owner of the battery, right? Correct. So that is called as an aggregation. Okay. So again, composition. So there is a dependent life cycle. Okay. So for example, you just take it as a student and staffs. So they both should be there, right? You st if without student, what is the use of staff? Obviously no, right? So without staff, what is the use of student? You cannot do right. So both having the dependent life cycle, they don't have independent life cycle at all. Okay. So this is one, one of the example I'm saying. Okay. So in real time, I'm just saying one of the example, but when you are going to the project, you can see in detail actually. Okay. Again, coupling. So coupling is nothing, but so that is somewhat difference between the above three topics actually. So, okay. So coupling is nothing but one object use another object basically. Okay. So for example, two objects are there. One object want to use another object that we will call as a coupling basically. So it is coupling between one object to another object. Okay. So cohesion, cohesion is nothing but one object inside another object. For example, you are taking as a employee. Okay. So employee inside the employee, it should have the address again, address having the uh, maybe street name, uh, city name, right? Pin code, all the stuff will be there. So employee object have the inside of address object, correct? 
so that is called as a quotient okay so these are just terms actually so try to understand what is this that's what actually but let's go in depth of each topics here whatever we are seeing in the screen okay thanks thanks for watching bye bye